Hey guys, if you're looking to find out if you can actually use your work experience that you have at your current job for your new job as a developer, right? You're switching careers. Well, we're going to talk about it in this video. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and check out the link in the descriptions. Okay, so I have this recurring conversation constantly, constantly, constantly from people that come in and ask me, Joe, um, I'm actually working as a teacher. Joe, I'm actually working in IT support. I'm actually working cybersecurity. I'm actually doing maybe, shoot, you know, physical education. Maybe I'm working in a hospital, right? And now I'm looking to switch careers, but I have no experience in tech. I have no experience in development. How can I go in and get a job with no experience when I've never done this? Okay. So I keep hearing from people. They keep asking me the same thing. I, again, I keep having conversations with a lot of you guys and we always come down to this same question. And the truth is guys that yes, you are switching departments. You're working as a developer, but being a developer is a skill. Okay. It's a technical skill that you're learning and now you're just basically switching departments. You have a year of experience, so shoot, you got 10 years as a teacher. There's jobs that you can work in the education system. There's jobs that you can work in healthcare, but now doing development. Now, that experience that you have of that industry, you can definitely use for your new position. Again, a lot of times companies rather hire somebody that has some type of knowledge of the actual industry that they're about to work in. So yes, you could be a content editor, you could be an email developer, you could be a front end developer, full stack developer, and you can use those years of experience that you've had as a teacher, as a physical education teacher, as a, a nurse, as in accounting, shoot, like literally you can use those years of experience that you have. Now, I definitely recommend to add it to your portfolio, right? Add it to your resume, because that way, if you are applying to some of these jobs in those industries, and that's what I recommend for you guys to do, right? When you're looking for a new job, don't make it difficult for yourself. Don't be like, well, I want to go work at a startup, right? That's going to be very competitive. But if you go in and you say, well, shoot, I'm 10 years in as a teacher. I'm five years in as a teacher. Let me look at what universities is out here. Let me look at what companies actually sell software, right? For uh, companies or schools, right? For example, right? You know about Blackboard. If you guys ever been to college, you know about Blackboard. Um, and there's a couple of other LMS systems that's out there. Apply to those companies. Okay, again, universities is big. So if you're a teacher, you can use that experience that you have because you know the industry. You're just now switching departments. It's not like you're starting from scratch. You're building yourself up in a new department, but the industry itself, you know it, okay? So definitely you can get a job with it, okay? Um, don't make your life difficult. Don't go in and, and be like, well, I'm gonna apply to a job that's completely different than the industry that I'm doing already, um, that's your advantage, okay? There's a guy that right now has the same skills as you, the same you know, knowledge of web development as you, but guess what? He has no history in that specific industry. Again, entertainment, education, government, um, shoot, healthcare, like I said, there's a lot of different industries that you guys can uh, jump into if you already have that experience in there. So use what you already have to give you an edge. So yeah, man, that just a little quick video I wanted to drop for you guys today because I keep hearing people uh, asking me the same questions in these meetings. For those of you guys that don't know, if you're interested in codingphase.com, literally you could go to the links in the description of this video uh click on book a call and you could hop on a call with me for 30 minutes either i call you through my cell phone or i call you through um you know zoom call depending where you at 
Um, so if you're interested in signing up to codingphase.com, but you have some questions and you're wondering if this is something that you can do and you, again, have some questions about the program, any concerns, you can definitely go in and reach out to me on the link in the description. But yeah, I just wanted to go in and answer that question for everyone that is going to come into these meetings and probably for you guys that are wondering this question yourself, like, man, can I use my experience in a specific industry? to really land me a job and the answer is yes okay it's always going to be yes because you have knowledge of the industry you're just switching departments all right so anyways guys this is your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com leave a comment below show me some love and matter of fact leave a comment below tell me what industries you have actual work experience with so yeah i'll see you guys later peace